The Dow formed a bearish engulfing signal on Friday, closing below the T-line. Now, it hadn't closed below the T-line for all the way back here in uh, uh, late, late December. December. So, so the uptrend's, uptrend's been steady. steady. Uh, so, so this, this would have allowed for taking profits in some, some long charts that weren't acting well and were also closing below the T-line. Line. What, what we, we needed to do today to make sure this uptrend was still in progress was, was to see a positive open and a close back up above the T-line. Line. The fact that they opened it lower and started trading it down told us they were confirming the, uh, uh, the fact that we're now in a sell signal mode. So we, at this point, this allowed us to get out of long positions at the appropriate time as well as uh, possibly going short. The NASDAQ, not quite a bearish golfing signal, but also closed below the T-line on Friday and gap down today told us the sellers were still in control, with the likely target at least to come back down to the 50-day moving average. Again, this was an alert to say that if it didn't open positive and trade positive, you want to be out of positions, such as this case right here. The fact they opened it lower told us the bearers were still in control. This probably indicates we're going to have a few more days to the downside before uh, we see a support somewhere. This also allows for positioning correctly in uh, trades where uh, after a strong uptrend, we saw a sell signal, a shooting star, a sell signal, hanging man, followed by a bearish engulfing signal, another bearish engulfing signal, closing below the T-line. As, as you can see, see the trajectory is rolling over. As, as the market was opening week today, this was like a good, good one to short. Again, with the possibility of moving all the way down to the 50-day moving average. The opportunity that we get from candlestick analysis is the fact that we can visually see when weakness is starting to come into a stock. So either long position needs to be closed out or possibly going short. Recognizing which... Signals are important in candlestick analysis. As, As we can see, the development of a morning star signal and it continuing to buy allowed traders in the chat room to get into this one at the appropriate time and make some very big profits. Now, do all reversal signals do this? No. The nice thing about candlestick analysis, though, is it puts you in situations where if there is a big move, it puts, it puts you in a situation where you can recognize that it's time to be buying and put you uh, with a high probability that you will be in the right trade at the right time. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.